Okay. So the instructions for step number seven reads as follows. Okay. It says that we need to apply the accounting number format to the first row of sales figure and to the total row. Uh, apply the comma style to the remaining sales figure. Okay. Format the totals in row seven with the total sales type. Okay. Then increase the column width as needed. Okay. I don't think we, we, we are going to need this. Okay. So let's go back to our working document. And the first step that we need to do, remember, is to apply the accounting number format. To do that, just highlight the, the two rows, okay? I like this one, so let me do it step by step. I'm going to just change for the first one. And then click on this one here, on this arrow here. Okay, click on this one. Wait for it to give you options, and then you select accounting. Then you, you're supposed to change the decimals to two if your system uh, doesn't use two by default. Mine uses two by default, okay? Then you click okay. Okay, I've already done that for this one. You see, it has uh, changed now. There is a dollar sign at the beginning, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing for the last row. Uh, I said we, we must change this to accounting number format. Uh, still the same options, okay? Uh, you see these two uh, uh, rows have like uh, been formatted using the accounting number format, okay? Then for the remaining rows like this one, uh, they told us that we need to use comma. So to use comma style, just go to your styles, okay? And then this is what we are looking for. Just click on this comma here. And then that, that is just that. So let's see. Uh, okay, they also told us that we need to format the totals in row 7 with the total cell okay? uh, style. Let's go to your totals, this one here. Highlight your totals, go to your styles, and then uh, select the total, okay? Then, yeah, we're done with, number, with step number 7, okay? Save your document, 